I had uh, a little situation. I'm in here playing around at the same time. So y'all forgive me because I didn't mean to cut that off. So, I'm a, you know, I'm going to have to do a one and two. But uh, we'll get back to what we was talking about. Like I say, Trump is exposing a lot of folks in politics. And he calling for a lot of things to be done that most presidential candidates couldn't do. For example, having an auditing of the feds, the Federal Reserve, in which case nobody audits the feds because the feds is ran by the international banker boys and the banker boys ain't trying to hear that because everybody that pay taxes is paying the feds and the feds is paying the banker boys. So that ain't likely to happen. And Trump know it's a limit to the bullshit because he going to go too far. And like somebody was saying, they might put a hit out on him. He might be already a marked man for talking to, you know. So Trump is the new face of American terrorism on two folds. One for the political correctness that he got. And number two, for most of those Caucasians that support him and want to spew their rhetoric and spew their racist hate is putting them in a position where they're feeling like they got some power, you dig? And because they got a little power and getting a point across with the preacher in the pool pit, they ready to start doing silly shit which is going to put them in a position where a lot of folks is going to get hurt. I heard the KKK in Anaheim, California got their ass whooped because they was out there trying to run up on folks. This 2016, y'all can't come with that, man. Black folk ain't even on that. You, 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 you going to fool around and get yourself to hurt and then white cheek pulled off your head. It's not going down, you know. So with all of the, the, the misconstrued, Feelings is going on in the country and Donald Trump is at the helm of it. It puts it puts it puts him in a position where they put he really the cold red now. He the he the new heightened face for terrorism because we don't know what he going to say. And people that want to say what he they what the people that have been wanting to say what Trump is saying now feels empowered so they can go around the dinner table and spit they spew the way that they spitting it because of the simple fact that Donald Trump, Donald Trump at the end of the day, uh, is, 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 is really allowing faith folks that may be somewhat racist to get off the, the ideologies that they've been wanting to get off because this country is getting browner. It ain't getting whiter. It's getting browner. White folk is mixing with black folk and and, 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 and the other ethnicities is mixing. With. So we're starting to get a brown tone to it. And a lot of folks and it got the superiority complex don't want that. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, Trump is really tipping the scales and letting the pot boil over in ways that we ain't never seen in a long time because we ain't never had a presidential candidate that speak the way he spoke. You know, it's not, it's not been any of that. It's not been any of that since, uh, Trump has, you know, taken, taken the stand and, and did, you know, what, what he wants to do. So what I think is coming, <clears throat> which is pieces to the puzzle is a slight race war because you got a lot of unconscious people out here who can't see how the chessboard is being played. So they're going to get emotionally involved. They're going to run out in the street, man, when they see something going this way, that way, and not thinking they're going to they gonna, they gonna get involved in something that's going to blow up, it's going to spill over, and it's going to go from one city to the next. But you got to be wise as a serpent because this is already planned and plotted and, 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 and played out, you know what I'm saying, in back rooms across the world. So, so Trump is part, you know, of the establishment, but then he anti-establishment in some regards. So we want to just uh, keep an eye on this again. You know, I feel like dude is the new face of American terrorism because blacks, Mexicans, Muslims, Christians, um, 
politicians, everybody is on the uh, uh, the target board, the, the 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 practice board, the shooting range for Donald Trump. Hey man, I'm cool with water, and I want y'all to keep up with me, because like I said, as time moves on. And I kind of get a feel for this podcast and get a few other things in place. So I'm going to take it to a new height, a new level. And we're really going to get busy with some of this conversation because it's needed. It's, it's needed. And be uh, be on the lookout for uh, a series that I'm going to do called The African American Entrepreneur's Holocaust. Coming soon. Cool water. Check me out. It's Hip Hop Dead. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Google Plus, LinkedIn. Just look for me, Cool Water the Rapper. You can Google me and I'll pop up. Peace. Stay blessed. Holla.